Okay guys, this next strategy was submitted to me by Mixtainment. Now, the one thing to note is I was not able to do his original strategy he suggested. Uh, really interesting strategy, but he has his own dozens and you have to play certain numbers, but unfortunately the way the online game works is you only have like 15 seconds to get all your numbers in and it's just too hard to go to bet each one individually and they only allow you to save your favorite bet so it just with the timing it just wasn't going to work so uh, I let him submit another strategy for me to try and uh, he got it from makeshift shows it's called or I call it the double D's because you're going to bet two dozens and two double streets but before we get into how you play that strategy let's go to the challenge chart so today we're going to just try to get $12 profit. Actually, no, that's not right. Let's, hold on. Let me update this. One. So we're just going to try to get $11, go to get to 125 using this strategy, and uh, hopefully it'll be a nice, quick, and easy session. But before we go to the live roulette table, this is how you play the double Ds. Okay, guys, this is how you play the double D strategy. Now, you're going to play two dozens at the same time and two double streets, as shown in the picture above. As you see here, you're, you're going to play basically one half and the other half in the same bet. So, for instance, if 29 comes out, the next hand you're going to go to the second progression from 1 to 18 as that was a losing bet, and uh, 19 to 36 will remain uh, one unit each and as you see the progressions for the dozens and the double streets are different so the dozens will go 50 cents to dollar 50 to 3 to 6 to 12 to 25 the double streets will go 50 cents dollar dollar 50 350 six dollars and 1250 now once you get a hit on either half of the board you will start over at the first progression. The stop loss will be the total of six losses at $73. And basically, you double, you, you follow the progressions until you win on that side of the wheel. Now, if zero comes out, you, you increase the progression for each one. And basically, that's how you play the double D's strategy. Okay, guys, we're in. We're going to try the double D strategy now. I'll uh, wait the next hand. Make wait one spin and then we'll jump in. Oh, 4% looks, or 0 looks like it's hot at 4%, so that could be a challenge. Okay, so 21 comes out, and let's get right in it. So hopefully we get one here in the middle. Thank you very much. The clock is uh, locked once and more. So let's talk about the numbers as they do change. The switching lanes can remain the same. 20 years after the hardest for this to be at. So the number two for the right one, 634. 22 all right that's good that's a that's a win right off the bat let's rebet uh this one has to come up to a dollar fifty and a dollar so we increase these ones hit the next progression this one stays at the same progression since this is a half of the board hit 
So hopefully we get one on the bottom half now. Thirty-five, so the, the bottom half goes to the next progression. So that'll go to three. And that'll go to a dollar fifty. And that's the progression we're doing right here. So we're on the third progression. Uh, we've had four high numbers in a row. So hopefully uh, we, uh, low ones incoming. Twenty six again. So we're going to go to the fourth progression already. So we're going to go to six dollars here, and then we're going to go three fifty. So we got two more progressions after that. <clears throat> so we need to hit. We've had five high in a row. So we only got two progressions left. Right. So I was I would like to get more progressions out of this, but I don't know if six is enough. But we're gonna try it. I tried it on the fake app, but uh you know how that is. Beautiful. Boom. All right, so we're at sixteen dollars. So now we go fifty. All right, so here we're gonna go to one and then one fifty. Make sure I'm doing that right. So you really want to hit those double streets. If we would have hit the double street there, it would have been nice. Fifteen. So we got a rebet here. Go to oops. Go to the next progression. So ideally we want to hit here, these six. But anywhere up top would be good. Thirty-one. All right, that's a good hit. I'm good. I'm good. Okay. So now we increase the progression on the bottom half and go back to the normal on the first half. You wonder if it's like maybe why even play the other half if you're just trying to get this half. I don't know. I'm just thinking, but. You know what I'm saying? You're wasting a bet there if it's a loss anyways. Maybe you can get more progressions if you don't play this. 
I don't know, just an idea. Let me know what you guys think. But as long as we win, I don't care. Seventeen. That's a good one. That's a good hit. I'm happy about that hit. Okay, so we're almost at target. We just gotta keep rolling here. I'd love to get one more here. We're at 121. So so far so good. I love another middle number right here. Give me 17 again. Okay, so it's a bottom halfer. So this goes to dollar fifty, that goes to three. Wow, look at all those blacks, baby. Eight in a row. Come on, give me a high number here. I'd love 19. Give me a 19. Seven. All right. So we got to go to the fourth progression, which is dollar three fifty, and then six dollars. So just to, so you guys see the progressions again, we're on this one. We got to hit it in the next three. Beautiful, beautiful baby. We are at target, guys. Nice, simple strategy worked perfectly. We didn't have to go past the fourth progression. That's good. I was a little worried about those progressions. Um, let me know what you guys think. Let's wrap up on the other end. All right. Let's okay, do Okay, guys, that was a good session. As you see here, we hit the target of 126. Well, 125 was the target, but we're over target. Uh, we'll go to the strategy scorecard. We had we made 12.50 in 10 minutes. Can't complain about that. Uh, now, as far as this was our 13th strategy we tested in this tournament, uh, I am going to now go to round two of this tournament. I will do another tournament with other strategies as well down the road as I collect some more. But right now we got 13 in. I think that's enough. So the next session we will start back in round two for each strategy. And uh, we'll do these strategies. I don't know how many rounds we'll do. We'll just do it until we have a handful that we really like and that are seem to be consistent uh only one strategy failed the first one and that was vincent beale's system every other strategy has made a profit in the first session um but it usually does seem that way when you try a strategy at least me i usually tend to win it the first time i try it 
Now the tough part comes, can it win consistently? And that's where we really test these strategies out. So we'll, we'll come in next session with steps and ladders, and we'll go right down the, the line again and uh, see how they all do. But uh, thanks, Mixtainment, for, um, for uh, suggesting that strategy. It worked, and uh, I'm looking forward to the second round. Thank you guys again for joining me, and I'll see you guys.